Hey guys, today we're looking again at this iMac uh, 2010. We just put a solid state hard drive in there. We put a one terabyte solid state drive in there, nevertheless. Um, so now, since we did that, we felt like, hey, let's let's upgrade the RAM too. So we're going to be using the Corsair Vengeance ones, um, the DDR3. Um, they're, six, they're eight gig sticks each, and you can put them in, and it works. So you're thinking, well, how do we do that? We just closed it, so why do we have to open it again? Um, so if you want to check out the video we just did about the one terabyte, um, it's uploaded in the channel. You can go check that out. We can show you how to upgrade that. Um, now we want to make sure we show you how to do the RAM. Under here, you can see there are a little bit of screw holes here. There's one, two, and three in the corner here. That's where the RAM slots are. So all you have to do is just remove them each. And there's three. And this little comes out. Um, it's just a little piece of metal. It comes out. Now, what you all you have to do, there's these little um, flaps right here you want to take out. There's two of them. Okay. So now you can just pull. Don't be afraid to pull too hard. That's what you want to do. You want to just pull, and it, you can hear a pop, and it, this comes out. Just like that. Okay. So here it is. So let's see what they gave us. So we have the Samsung. It's two gigs, which is still pretty nice. So there'd be four gigs. There's only two in here. Now, this is actually a quad channel. Um, so you can put four sticks, you can put, um, pretty much, you could put four of these in here. You can do that as well. So that'll just give you eight gigs, but, um, we're just going to do today. Of course, you pull this one out and there's the other two gig. Um, we're just going to do today, we're going to do two sticks right here, dual channel. Um, you could put them in the same, you want to make sure they go this way. You can put them in the same slot if you like, um, because there are actually four up there. So once you get it in, you just want to push up. You can feel a little click, and it feels very secure. Then you want to put the flat back on just like that. And we could do the other one on this. You can put it up in the same side if you like, or if you want to put it on the other side, that's good as well. But um, So once you feel it again, just push up just like that. You can feel a little click. Fold the flat back in so it goes up. It's covered. Okay, now all you want to do is to pop right here. Okay, guys, so we're back, and um, I just want to show you that I installed um, High Sear on here. Now, it doesn't take Mojave, um, that would be for the 2012 model. That should be able to work from there. But we updated all the way to um, High Sierra. As you can see here, there's a one terabyte in solid state storage. And we'll go over to the memory. You can see there's 16 gigabytes of memory and two 8 gig channels. Okay, so everything looks like it worked out great. Um, everything is working very well. Um, this is an i7, of course. So that's just a good way to save you some extra money if you ever wanted to upgrade. Um, but you didn't want to buy a brand new one. This thing flies. You know, this thing goes really quick. This is a 1440p, 2560 by 1440 display. Um, it looks beautiful still. It's Everything's still intact. Um, the colors are rich. Um, that's the best way to do it. I mean, save yourself some money. You spent money back then, maybe in 2010, 2011, you bought this machine. Um, yep, so check out our channel for more information. Um, just like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, just let us know. But yep, that's been it, and um, you guys have a good one. Thank you.